This video is going to focus on the size of the atom and in particular the relationship between the nucleus and the rest of the atom. When you see a diagram of the atom in textbooks or on the board you'll notice that the actual nucleus looks quite big in relation to the rest of the atom. However that's not the case. Okay so to get an idea of the sheer scale of the size of the nucleus compared to the atom what I want you to do is imagine a football field. Um, any football field you want, Newcastle, St. James Park might be a good one. That field is the size of the atom. And then imagine putting a marble onto that field. It's tiny, it would be really almost impossible to find. And that represents the actual size of the nucleus itself, which is tiny. So what we're going to talk about now is how we actually prove this. And this is all down to the Rutherford Alpha Particle Scattering Experiment. Now we've talked about Rutherford in the past. Now what he actually did was fired loads of protons in known as alpha particles 20,000 in total, into some gold foil. And what he found was that about 99% of those alpha particles went straight through the foil, and some of them got deflected, and only a very small number actually rebounded and went straight back. The results of this investigation helped prove two different things. Firstly, that the nucleus of an atom has a very, very small diameter compared to that of the rest of the atom, and secondly, that most of the mass of the atom was concentrated in the nucleus. Okay then, let's have a look at an example question that could quite easily come up in the exam. So this one says, explain how Rutherford's alpha particle experiment proved that the nucleus was tiny compared to the size of the atom. So this question is giving you the information that the nucleus is tiny. What it's asking you to do is to say how we proved it. So think about what was fired into the gold sheet and what proof that, that gave us of the size of the atom. Pause the video now, have a go at it, and then we'll have a look in a minute. Okay, you should have gone through, so let's have a look. So the first marking point is the fact that he fired either protons or alpha particles. They would accept either. And then, what did they fire it into? The gold foil. So that would get you two of the three marks. And then it's about what was actually found out. You could say that 99% or most of the protons went straight through the foil. And you could also say that some repelled, bounced back, or deflected. And that would be enough to get the four marks. If you did well at that one, move on to the review section. If not, go back and have another look at the video. So the review question is, what I'd like you to do is draw the structure of an atom and label it, and then explain why it is not an accurate representation of the scale of an atom. Hopefully from watching this video, you should all be able to do that at this point. And that's the end of this video.